This is Clem with Clem's Organic Gardens in Brevard, North Carolina. Today is June 25th, 2018, and I want to show a method I'm experimenting with for um, controlling weeds in between beds of plastic mulch in winter squash using wood chips that I'm uh, spreading with this, uh, this old manure spreader here. Um, this is a and let me show you what I've done so far. I've, these are the ones I have done. These are the ones I have not. Um, but this is a New Holland 202, I believe, is the model. Um, and I've already, I was already using this thing for spreading compost. Hopefully, I'll make a video of that. Um, but it's basically an old, it's an old manure spreader that I converted just a little bit. Um, I took off the back beater. So they come with a this kind of big paddle thing kind of in the back behind these other uh, spinning beater things. Um, and I put this sort of frame on here. I just had some old scrap angle iron frame of some kind and I just attached it on there. I mean it's very, very simple. I, I did not do any welding to do this. This is just like wood and drilled some holes and some screws and again just like found scrap stuff. Um, pretty simple. Um, and then just set these, just to create, create a surface, and I just set these pieces of plywood on here to allow, in this case, the wood chips to fall just just on the outside, in the holes. Um, but I could set it when I use compost. There's my compost pile there. Um, I set it to correspond to my planting planting rows and just kind of, to kind of band the compost. And this, I mean, again, this is like these... These boards aren't even attached. Um, I just kind of set them there and they tend to stay there. And yeah, as it goes, the, um, the mulch, or I'm sorry, the uh, wood chips get pushed back and they follow just in the holes and along the edges of the plastic. And um, yeah, it's working, I mean, it's working fairly well. Um, so I get the wood chips for free, which is important. Um, I don't necessarily have a you know, I get them from a tree service in town here. Um, I mean, guys like that need a place to dump their wood chips, and um, if you have a spot, I mean, they're happy to do it for free, because uh, otherwise I think they have to pay to dispose of them. Um, and and the guys that bring in are, it's a pretty good product. Like, if you have a lot of, like, sticks and stuff in there, um, it doesn't. It doesn't really. I don't think it would really go through this spreader. It would get all caught and tangled up in there. Um, and and with an old ground-driven spreader like this, it it doesn't drop very fast. So for each of these beds that I did, this is two passes, and it's kind of a pain to to get it all set up and you know do the levers and then stop at the end of the row and undo it. And um, so I've already gone through one time with this and. You, on this bed, so I'm about to do the second one, and you can see how much, um, it's not a whole lot, uh, but I think it'll make a difference, um, and you can see, like, it doesn't cover the whole thing, it's just on the edges right now, um, I've played around with going, like, doing this and then, and then brushing it to fill in the middle, for now I'm just gonna leave it like that, because I think it'll be pretty easy to, if some weeds come up in here, I can go through the wheel hoe or even a flame weeder. The edges are, are kind of more important. Um, and you can see this field is, is kind of spotty. Like, there's still a bunch of holes, empty holes, and the plants are all different sizes. I've had some issues in this field, which is part of why I want to do this now because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna plant more plants in those holes. So the plants will all be a different size. It'll be a while before they really like cover the field. So like I have some fields where they're really covering. I've not put mulch in or the wood chips in there. I'm just kind of relying on the winter squash itself to cover everything and and block and shade out all the weeds. Um, yeah so I mean I can't say how awesome this is. Um, I've done this in a couple fields already. Uh, and it seems to be promising. Um, again, it's always hard to can really control weeds and winter squash, I have found. 
Um, so kind of hoping for the best. Uh, I have, I mean, prior to this, um, a number of times have cultivated with a tractor and with, with hand tools the, the aisles um, to control the weeds. And yeah, I'm gonna run this for a second and show how it works. Hopefully, it'll be really awesome. Uh, anything else? Like I said, it's not the fastest process in the world, but hopefully it'll be effective. Uh, I think, I mean, I think if like a PTO driven spreader would be better because you could uh, set it to a higher rate and go slow and spread as many chips as you need in the aisles. Um, I mean, another thing I would say is that um, I didn't do a great job laying the plastic in here. I was renting a layer, a plastic mulch layer, and, uh, you know, it was at the beginning of the learning curve. Um, I think really perfect beds of plastic would be, would make it a lot easier and fewer wood chips would go a longer way. But I'm going to fire this thing up and uh, go for just a few, just a little ways. <laughs> 